Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is something so exciting. I feel like I say this all the time, but seriously, this is really, really exciting. So today I am surprising my whole family with a holiday for Christmas. So this is really, really exciting. My mum has wanted to go on holiday for so long now. Unfortunately, we weren't able to go last summer. She absolutely loves Corfu. But I was thinking, we have been so many times to Corfu. Do you guys have that like holiday destination where like you and your family go every single year? We have that and it's literally been so many years now that we've been to Corfu. I feel like if I don't spice it up by treating everyone to a holiday, then we're always just gonna go to Corfu. I do love Corfu, don't get me wrong. But it's always nice to have a change, you know, every once in now and then. Oh, also guys, this is a bit off topic but have you realized that like sometimes like i say stuff and it doesn't make sense i feel like you guys are picking up on it some stuff that i say doesn't 100 make sense but let's just act like it never happened right anyway so i was going to do it all myself fund it all myself being the good samaritan that i am but I thought let's double up here and make it a super amazing holiday. So my oldest brother Fraser has said he will go halves with me and it's not actually just gonna be my family, it's gonna be like a 10 person holiday. So we're both gonna go halves on it and it's gonna be such an exciting holiday. So hopefully it will be for about um, 10 days in June. I am filming this um, at the very end of November. It's actually November the 29th, I think. So obviously I will upload this video, their reaction. And so I am probably going to upload this onto my YouTube channel at the end of December after Christmas. So you guys will probably see this then. But for now it's a top secret and I'm just on the way to go meet my brother to hopefully book the holiday today. So that would be so exciting. I honestly can't wait to see their reaction. Hopefully we're gonna get a big villa with a big swimming pool and just make it the most amazing holiday ever. So I see you guys with my brother. Bye. Guys, I'm now at my brother's office and we're going to book the holiday. We're not actually, I don't think we're 100% sure what holiday we're actually booking at the moment. Last night at like half 11, we were WhatsApping each other, trying to find somewhere. But you know what? There's just so many different countries, so many different places. It's <laughs> don't get camera shy now, Lucinda. It's hard to find somewhere, but we're going to do it now aren't we Fraser we are. so we're not going to look at vehicle details on the gov.uk website are we no we're not no so that's exactly what we're going to do when Fraser decides to want to do it no <laughs> yeah it's a good angle so no, I finally made it onto YouTube been waiting for this day okay we're so we're going to go to Crete and are I think definitely or not I feel like this is like putting pressure on like this massive yeah, that, that was just one villa that I found Let's have a look at it, let's have a look at it again. Do you think definitely Crete? Quite a good value, isn't it? So end of June, and then there's going to be yeah. about, how many of us are there going to be? Ten. Do you think ten? Depends if Chris decides to come along or not. Jake, are you going to come? He's going to need some suntan lotion for that and I'll get nothing out of a free. Can I have some go if you've seen the one more one? Oh! God! That one hurt. Uh, Only because I'm zooming in on his head, he's getting all protective. Oh no! Don't zoom in too much. It'll crack the camera. Oh, I'm much better looking on right? your on your camera than what I have in real life. You know what? This camera, I think it like gives you like an effect. Give me like a glow. I feel yeah. like the Cinder Strap from Love Island, but I'm actually afraid the Strap from Brighton. Right, so come on then. Let's do this. Can you not bring the Love Island villa? Do I not what? Why can't we do that? Can you get in touch with our TV and we'll rent out the Love Island villa? Why can't we do that? Is that even allowed to be done? Can you do that? Yeah. Why do you do that? Surely you'll be able to sort that out about everyone. Why are you even here? Just go home and phone that agent or whatever. Not the agent, ITV Direct. Would we want to do that? Well, I don't know, it'd be quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> rent the Love Island Villa. Where is the Love Island Villa 20 drone? Can you rent it out and how much does it cost? Is this it? Yeah. I mean, how times have taken the The article is like six months old. Doesn't mention anything about how much it costs, I don't think. 
Would we want to do it? that? 3,000 quid for one week? Yeah, let's do that. That's not it, is it? Uh, that's Casa Amar. Oh. That's the other bit. That's, that's where the snakes hide. <laughs> <laughs> How funny would it be all of us in those single beds? That would be so funny. I like that other villa. I think the other villa in Crete was perfect. So this is the place, guys. It is absolutely, let me show you that, humongous. And all the fans. Look at that, they've got the champagne there. ready for you. <laughs> With the watermelon. Oh my goodness. Do you think Crete will be good um, nightlife? Or is it not? I don't know. Look at that, bosh. That is actually really, really I'm nice. I'm like Pablo Escobar for that week. <laughs> yeah, that would be really good. I think we should book it now. Okay, um, is that, are those definitely the correct dates though? So, seven nights. Definitely 23rd, so the 23rd is a Saturday. Do you want to go Saturday until Saturday? Or do you want to mm. go, like another? Saturday. Saturday till Saturday means you don't get a Saturday, you don't get a full weekend because you're either arriving or departing on the weekend. No, don't do that. So you kind of want to do like a Thursday till Thursday. No, I think, yeah, Thursday till Thursday. So 21st, oh no, 23rd of June. Is it Thursday? Well, that's July I'm looking at, sorry. 20, so 23rd to the 30th is actually. Just a week, yeah. That's one week, eight guests, 4,000 quid, yeah? Yeah, perfect. Should we do any further reading or are we just gonna book it? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm fine to book it, but I'm just wondering. What, what do you think? I feel like this is all a bit of a random thing, this, but I think it does look really nice. No, let's just do it. Right. Yeah, so, I need to check up my passwords, I think. Yeah, we're just going to book that now, guys. How exciting. We were just talking about how we were like, oh, is there any party places? We have just clocked that Malia is actually in Crete. It's an hour and a half from Malia, the, the, the hotel. If Do you think gonna, that's too if far? If we're going to go to Crete, if we're going to go to um, Malia, the other option is... Maybe we shouldn't go to Malia though. There's a region from Malia and Santis. That is even further. Even further. Right, let's have a look at the other one. Stalis or whatever. I mean, like, this holiday isn't going no, to be like a massive... It's too far. If we're going to Malia, I mean, I don't really want to go to... Ooh, ah, uh, Malia. <laughs> There will definitely be a town near us. There is. It's called Rathemnio. I bet Malia's like the London, or am I just talking about This is Rathemnio. In you, do you know what I'm telling you? We're going to book a villa um, in Crete, probably, and then give it to the rest of the family as our present for the for Oh, that's nice. That's really Hannah, nice. you're coming. That's your, that's yeah, your Christmas that's present as well, Hannah. Yeah, that's your Christmas present as well. <laughs> so guys, we've just thought we're on booking.com, like booking the villa now, and it's a bit of a game of Russian roulette here because they're not going to give us our money back if we can't go. So if it's like COVID or like we physically can't get on the flight, we're not going to get our money back and obviously the villa is quite expensive. So we were just thinking about it, but we're just thinking YOLO, aren't we Fraser? <laughs> Yeah, we're just thinking, you know what? It's highly unlikely. I feel like COVID was so 2021. I feel like hopefully 2022, there won't be any problems. I'm just praying. It's all bad. Look how nice it looks, guys. <laughs> oh my God, there's a basketball court. That just looks insane. Oh, hang on, let's not even make a picture, I reckon this one, hang on. What one do you think? Come on. There you go, that one. That one. Pretty cool. It is actually going to be so good. Oh my god, I'm literally so excited. Hi guys, so it's now the 10th of December and sorry, I look crazy. I didn't even like this clock what I look like. This is such a dodgy video to film when your mum is literally in the kitchen. But anyway, I'm gonna print these off because there's four pictures here. And if you actually think about the people that were surprising, it's only four people, I think. Fraser's, my older brother's girlfriend's gonna come, but obviously she knows. Um, Ewan's girlfriend might come, but obviously that's not her Christmas present. So it was only four. People, so I'm just going to print this off. 
and I will show you what I've done upstairs. But yeah, I really don't look great right now. <laughs> But I am, I am aware, don't worry. Right, so my mum is downstairs. I have printed off this. And look what I bought from Etsy. So I have literally been obsessed with Etsy recently. And this little company, this little company sells little suitcases. So it says Ewan from Lucinda and Fraser. And then inside we're going away and so I've written underneath here create and he'll scratch it off so in here over like how cute is this like little thing I'm gonna get like little bags from like a gift place and do that I just thought to like make them really really excited I'm gonna print off this picture of the place where we're staying just because this place just looks really really nice in the picture so you know excite them a little bit more so that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, hello. I didn't know who that was. Is I'm doing their Christmas to... presents. Oh, is that what you're doing? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, it's fine. You do that. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. So quickly, guys, I am going to fold this up and put it in the little thing. So I'm going to do that now. Right, I feel like I should have been better at arts and crafts when I was younger because this just was not very good. So, second brother's little suitcase. So, my second brother is called Rory. So, I've got his little, his little passport with his little note inside where he scratches off. Cute, cute, cute. Right. Two out of four. Done. Right, I'm gonna do the other two off camera, so I'm gonna do that now. Guys, I'm gonna save yourself from looking at me like this because it's awful, so I'm just gonna show you like this. But look. So I've got four little boxes. Inside each one is a little picture of the villa little passport so i'm going to put them away for now and i've also got another little surprise that i'm going to show you all i've just got one little extra thing for my mum because she's the best and i think she deserves it and i saw it and i was like oh my god this would be such a cute little idea to also get so you'll probably see that in the next slide but all coming together hi everyone so it's now christmas eve look what i've done so i've got Rory, which is one of my brothers I got these bags of Etsy actually. Uh, Yibben, my mum, my Pam. Obviously, Fraser's coming, but um, he is giving the presents of me. Fraser's girlfriend's coming, but she knows because they needed the dates to know when they're going to go. So, obviously, they don't have a present. But, um, yeah, they honestly have absolutely no idea. And I honestly can't wait. I feel like they really, really need a holiday as well. And Auntie Pam. Oh, yeah, I haven't actually said. So my Auntie Pam's not actually going to be able to come with us this Christmas. Um, just because she's not feeling too well and she's really, really vulnerable. So she's five minutes down the road in her house on her own, bless her. But we're going to go over and get her. Or she's going to pop over and we can just give it to her outside or whatever. But fingers crossed she'll be able to come in the summer. So, yeah. Not long now, guys. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Mum, this is your yeah, you one. So and before you open it, no, no, this is this story. There's something inside and you have to scratch it. That's all I'm saying. It's a scratch card. No. Well, that would be quite a good idea. Can you imagine if you won a million... You've got just... A million, trillion, oh, million pounds. Really Look at... Have you seen the bag? Rory. Rory. <laughs> right. Okay, so I have to scratch it. Right. Oh. Oh, right. Oh, look. Tim, Mum. That's what to say. It's an empty bag. Lucinda. From Fraser and Lucinda. Oh, lovely. And I've got to scratch it. So you look inside. What the hell? It's from <laughs> Fraser and me. It's our person. Mom. Lucinda and no Fraser. No time to relax. To we love it. you lots. Scratch, scratch here. For destination? Yeah. <laughs> Are you having a laugh? What? 
Oh. We are going away. <laughs> Can you not? Come on, everyone, you've got to scratch it. I'm scratching. Oh, hang on. Where am I going? I'm going to. Oh, I'm going to. Oh, hang on. By the way, there's a picture that's just fallen out where you're going. Crete! Yeah? I'm going to Crete! And look in the picture, there's a picture that, that was in the box. And look at that little look, travel passport. Mum, look in the picture that's in the box. Oh, wow. That's where we're staying. No way. Yeah. Oh, no. wow. Look yeah, at mad. that. Wow, thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah, <laughs> You're very welcome, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I don't know what to say. <laughs> We're going on holiday here. To Crete. We're going on holiday yeah. here. 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 So, Crete. Auntie Pam has got a ticket. Oh, Fingers crossed she will be able to go. Hannah, Fraser, oh. me. Shannon can come if she likes because you've got your own room. It's like a 12 person villa. Oh. Goodness me. And it's honestly, it's got a basketball court. How lovely is that? Who else? The whole family. So don't tell anything when you and come, so oh, I'll give you a bit. And I've got one for Auntie Pam as well. Oh my goodness me. What a lovely, lovely, isn't that lovely present? Yeah. Really gorgeous, Lucinda. Thank you. You're very welcome. Go on then. Go on then. Open the, open one, the brown yeah. one. So, guys, just a quick pre warning. You and actually got told what this was at lunchtime, dinner time, so he knows. Here we go. Here we go. What is it? It's a little suitcase. Oh, yeah. Little suitcase. I'm gonna need yeah. that. For the first show we did. Yeah. <laughs> We're going away. We're going away. You need to scratch off. I need a, I need a, a little I need a coin, don't I? Or... Have you seen that? Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> There's a strange way of going about things. Let's go when you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll know one day where we're going. <laughs> sure, it'll be today. Okay, we're going to Crete. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Lucinda. That's and a, look, in, that's is a there surprise. a little picture of the place that we're going as well? Oh, in here. It should be in the little suitcase. Lost the suitcase. <laughs> How have I lost my suitcase? It's there. There it is. There you go. There you go. Amazing. That's good. That's nice. Yeah, thank you, Lucinda. It's <laughs> nice. It's from Lucinda and Fraser. Yeah. Oh, Lucinda and Fraser. Thank you to Lucinda and Fraser. You're very welcome, you then. Hi, guys. So that was it. Our holiday is booked. Our flights are booked. And my family now know. One person that doesn't know is my auntie. So basically, my auntie isn't very well at the moment. But it's looking good from the hospital. And all of us are just... Constantly thinking about my auntie at the moment, which means that I wasn't able to actually surprise her. I called her on Christmas and my mum said, oh, do you want to tell Auntie Pam about the presents or sort of cheer her up a little bit because she's in hospital. She can't have any visitors and no flowers, no presents. So it's just not that nice, to be honest. So I did say to Auntie Pam, do you want me to tell you the present from me? And she said, no, I'd rather wait. So we're gonna do like another Christmas for when she's back. But yeah, that was all of the reactions from the rest of my family. I will still continue this video and I will attach the clip of me telling my auntie that we're all going away. Fingers crossed it won't actually be too long until I get to tell her. I think she'll probably be out in a few days. So this video is going up slightly later, but that's okay. And yeah, I'll see you when I'm surprising my auntie. Bye.